Hey everybody, welcome to this month's How's the Market. Um, so this month, or this, what we're doing is basically March, April, May, um, June of last year. So we kind of opened it up. We have four months that we want to go over. Now granted, I'm going to preface this with, this was compared to uh, March, April, May, June of 2020. So part of that time we were shut down. So some of these numbers are going to be skewed, um, but you're going to kind of see in the next few months that we do this, how when we went into the summer market coming back from the hiatus, um, where the market kind of jumped from a year prior. So I'm looking forward to the next few months, but for the next, for the, sorry, last four months, we're gonna go over um, from 2020 to 2021. So the amount of new listings went from 357 up to 432. That's a jump of 17%. Um, the average list, or the list price average is 180, uh, 189. That jumped up to 204, which is 8% above. Um, the count of closed sales went from 124 up to 300 even throughout COVID, which is a jump up of 35%. Um, the average selling price, 157 up to 181. Uh, median sold price, 133 up to 157. That was 13 and 16% up on both of those. Average days on the market went from 202 up to 228. Again, this was because of COVID. Um, that was 11% up. I should say the shutdown last year. Um, that number I do expect to go extremely low in the next coming months, but for this example, it was up. Um, the amount of pending listings is went well, from 273 last year to 412 this year, which is a jump of 34, which if we take the big indicators of this, um, the amount of pending listings, again, people weren't looking going under contract for about six to eight weeks, um, or actually 10 weeks last year, um, but 400 is quite a big jump up, and that was 34%. Yeah, that's a big jump up. What we're starting to see now is that listings, um, even if listings are on par or slightly above of where they were last year, the problem is the amount of pendings are up much more than that and the amount of closed sales are up much more than that. So when we take that all in, if this, even if this, uh, the listings stay on par um, or even go slightly up, the problem again is that if the homes that are going pen, or the pending rate is going up faster or at a steeper climb than the homes coming on, we're starting to get, so again, very poor analogy here, but it, or very poor uh, graphic here, but if you're going like this, and this right here is the amount of uh, new homes coming on the market, but this is the amount of pending sales on the market, you can see that this gap is bigger. Um, very basic meaning that we're gonna see more and more of a shortage with the uh, demand of buyers and the lack of supply. Um, again, boil this down, what's this all mean? Sellers, it's an extremely good market to sell your property. If you are looking or thinking about selling, now is the time, um, even just to check it and see kind of what you would get for your property. I know I've had a lot of people reach out and just say, hey, if I were to sell my house, what would I get? I think people are, are definitely curious about that. Um, and again, I, I don't mind doing that. That's, some, that's stuff that's, um, you know, I think, if you are somewhat serious about that, I think it is something to look into, provided you have a plan and what your next step might be. Uh, buyers, it's frustrating to find a home. I'm gonna continue to say that. Big thing, make sure you are pre-qualified and ready to go. Uh, the benefit is if you do buy a home right now, I still think it's a good time um, with the rates and with everything else to buy a home. And I, again, I don't think the values are going down anytime soon. So I still think you're getting it on the appreciate or the appreciation upswing. Um, so again, any questions, let me know. Galen Trombley, Kavanaugh Realty, 518-572-0088. See you next month.